Greetings, Earthlings. I wanted to give an update on the state of the Nova 445 project as I continue to work on getting it ready for uh, VCF West. And like you say, but that's in August and it's only, well, virtually April as I do this. And gosh, that's a long time. But um, I actually have quite a lot to do between now and then to uh, to to have the demos that I want ready. So we've seen in the past uh, that uh, uh, I can load the processor from a laptop over the serial port, but for the demo, for VCF West, I want to have a regular terminal, whether it's this one or something else. Um, so I need another way to load code onto the processor. Well, in a perfect world, we'd have a disk drive, but there's no way that I can get the disk emulator working by then. And so the next best thing in the... In the olden days, a, a minimal processor, a minimal, you know, computer, Nova computer, would have had a paper tape drive. I don't have a paper tape reader or paper tape punch, so I have to emulate it. And that's what this board is for. And take a look at this. Uh, so what this is doing is it's presenting an interface to the processor that is identical to what a uh, paper tape reader would present, except there's no interrupts. Um, but when you're loading the code, you're not, it's not interrupt driven anyway. So, um, so, but anyway, uh, it looks like a paper tape reader to the uh, processor, but it uses EEPROMs. Uh, to represent the tapes. And I have four EEPROM slots here, and I have buttons here to select which one you want. So, and then there's an indicator here, which maybe you can see, which uh, shows which one is currently selected. So, back in the, uh, again, back in the good old days, you would have had your paper tapes uh, maybe they're in a uh, tray or they're in rolls or something. And so you get out a paper tape, you select one, and you load it into the reader, okay? And uh, so we do that by, uh, we select it with the switch, okay? So we're going to select number four, which is this one, which is running the game of life. Uh, as you may recall, if you saw last year's demo at VCF West, uh, the game of life was running out of the monitor ROM on the processor. Now the monitor ROM doesn't include that, and life will be one of the demos that we can load. Okay, so we've selected our tape, and now we load it into the uh, reader, and that's what this button is for. Okay, that indicates we're loading it in. Um, what, what what's really going on? is that there's a there's a counter there's an address counter and that resets the counter um that's about you know that's uh all this really is <laughs> is a is a counter that uh that 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 increments through the uh through the eprom addresses so now we can go back over here to the monitor and you'll see i've added uh, i i've made some some changes some improvements uh there's now a help command here so uh, there are your help instructions uh, or you know this is showing you what it can do um, including well boot from hard drive you know uh, but I don't have the hard drive yet so that's that'll just hang the, the thing but uh, load from TTY uh, load program from paper tape reader and then uh, we can start it at an address we can examine an address and what I've done, um, so there's, uh, you know, what's in location 1000. I can change that, go back and look at it. Uh, whoops, I said 100. 
one zero 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 slash is now zero. Um, and I've added I've added uh, two things. One is I can I can view that as ASCII, which is not very interesting when it's zero. Uh, and I can also view that as an instruction. I put a disassembler in here. So by typing semicolon, I can uh, I can cause it to to disassemble uh, the code. So we've loaded the uh, we've loaded our paper tape by selecting the the tape 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 quote quote quote, quote tape <laughs> um, and pressing the the blue button to load it into the uh, to load it into the reader. So now I would say R for read, and that will read it in. And as you see, it went pretty darn fast. It's not a real big program that one. Uh, so now if I look at Location 1000, that's where the program starts. You can see uh, there's actual code there that got loaded in. And I can look at this and say, yeah, I think that's, I think that's the correct code. Okay, so we'll start it. And you can see it has blanked the screen because we now have options as to what uh, what it starts with. Originally, well, the, the version from last year uh, only did uh, the COVID-19 COVID as a starting point. Um, and uh, so that I left that in. And we'll let that go for a generation. But I can, I can escape out and select a different um, option. And escape does not uh, take effect immediately. It's at the end of the current generation. So I've got uh, a couple of other things. One is, one is the rat, uh, which you may recognize if you've gone through previous videos. The rat from the, um, <laughs> from the Taco Bot arcade game. Uh, as you know as a as a starting point but the most interesting one well we'll let this go okay and you can see it uh it takes that as a starting point and just uh runs based on those bits but the most interesting one i think is um noise number four number three is rabbits and that's just a classic um life starting point. It's like a, a minimalist uh, thing that just sort of grows practically forever. Um, and uh, I'm not going to do that one today. But uh, noise just fills, <laughs> fills the memory with random bits. And uh, so you've got this chaotic starting world, you know, as it were, and then it will run uh, and you know things are gonna things are gonna die out. Things will be. I mean, yeah. It's it's just it's just random, uh, and it starts to generate kind of really cool, interesting patterns. And I guess it's slightly faster than it was because it's running now out of RAM, which has no wait states, whereas. Last year's demo ran out of, uh, like I said before, ran out of the um, uh, ROM, the, the, the monitor ROM, and uh, that has some wait states. So the code runs a little bit faster, which means, you know, each generation takes a little less time, but it's still pretty darn slow. So that's the update, and so I'm working on, you know, demo programs, which take a lot of effort, but uh, don't give me too much to show, and I want to keep them as kind of a surprise. Um, so I don't think I'll, uh, I don't think I'll have another update on the, uh, on the demo programs between now and VCF West. You'll have to come to the show to see <laughs> what evil, what evil things I came up with.